Hello everyone, it's Dylan from Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything and welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Many of us have wondered, including myself, who would win a tournament featuring every single Yu-Gi-Oh! protagonist? And in today's video, we plan to answer that question, albeit without plot armor, which probably defeats the purpose, but we're going to do our best anyway. So I am throwing all of these character decks into a master duel simulator, computer versus computer, tournament style, single elimination, and we will see who is the ultimate Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro tag. Now, you might be realizing there's a slight issue with this because we only have seven-ish protagonists. Yugi, Yami Yugi, Jaden, Yusei, Yuma, Yuya, and Yusaku. The problem with that is we really need eight protagonists or eight characters to do a bracket that makes sense. So we are going to be picking one of these lucky side characters that teamed with our protagonist, I, Yuto, Yubel, Astral, and we are going to see which one will be joining the tournament as a special guest entry. All right, the wheel is spinning. Let's see who is going to join these legendary duelists. Whoever it is, I hope they lose in the first round. And it's going to be Yuto and his Phantom Knights. That's very, very interesting. We have added Yuto to the participants list. And let's submit and see who are going to be dueling each other. Yuto and Yuya, of course. It had to be Yuto versus Yuya. Jaden and Yusei, what a great matchup that is. Yugi and Yuma and then Yusaku and Yami Yugi. Now, if plot armor was a thing, that duel would be crazy, but because plot armor is not a thing, it's Yusaku's deck going up against Yami Yugi's. That might be a slaughter. Some of you might be wondering um, how we are going to be doing this with the decks. Basically, I've kind of created the decks using templates I found off of YGO Pro. The cards that we are using are only going to be cards these characters used throughout Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, there's no ban list or anything like that. And um, the AIs are going to be controlling the whole duels. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. We are using 4,000 life points to keep the integrity of the anime duels. Yuto versus Yuya. What a great matchup. Round one. Let's begin. I'm rooting against Yuto here because he's not a protagonist. And I feel like it hurts the integrity of the tournament. All right. Yuto's deck hasn't really gotten going either. He, he hasn't started extremely well especially for phantom knight so yuya's got a chance here but he's gonna have to really start making some plays and summoning 300 well actually it'll do the job there he might be able to get through here a little bit silver claw direct attack 2100 nope oh oh yuya summoning dark rebellion xz's dragon yuto's own monster yuto has to do something here can he get another level four to the field? No, he can't, but he's going to... Oh, he's going to inflict some damage here to Yuya. All right, Yuya. Oh, my God. Three sets, dude. Dark Rebellion can really help get the win here if Yuya can get another card. Dark Rebellion's effect. Yuya takes... Okay. Oh, my God. All right. Both duelists are down to the nitty-gritty. If Yuto gets Dark Rebellion on the field, it's over. And he's not able to. Not yet, at least. Oh, my God. This has to be it. Oh, my God. Beast Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Beast Eyes Pendulum Dragon for the win. This will do it. This is going to do it. Beast Eyes Effect. You take damage equal to the attack. Yuya gets the win. He defeats Yuto and proves he is the superior U-Boy. Yuya wins and is the winner, and he will face either Jaden or Yusei in the semifinals. Jaden versus Yusei is up next. Let's see who's going to win. Now, these two did duel next to each other in Bonds Beyond Time, but of course, never actually dueled each other. Always a highly discussed what-if duel. Sadly, we never got it. So, Jaden going to just set a card and pass. What can Yusei Fudo, the hero of Satellite, do? He's going to add a Synchron. We know he wants to Synchro Summon. And if he's able to Synchro Summon, he's going to Synchro Summon. And, of course, Jaden wants to Fuse. Hero Merges, good card. Grand Mole, he's going to uh, Normal Summon, but not Attack. You say adding another Synchron. Are we going to see the Synchro Summon here? I think we're going to see it. I, th I think we have to see it. Yep. You say Fudo, it's what he does best. Synchro Shokan. 
Lightning Warrior. How about that? And then he's going to Synchro again. Lightning Warrior Turbo Synchron into Stardust Dragon. We finally have seen a staple ace monster. A hero emerges, gets used, counters off of Cosmic Flare. These are two elite duelists just in their prime. Blade Edge gets summoned, which actually has more attack than Stardust Dragon. But because of Cosmic Flare, it goes back to the... Oh my god, and then he summons Stardust Dragon Assault Mode. Oh my god, what a play. What a freaking turn from Yusei. What a turn from Yusei. Jaden's in a lot of trouble. Draining Shield is not going to help him. Jaden did not get the cards he needed. And Yusei flopped the nuts. It's not over yet. Oh, but it gets negated, so he doesn't get that life point boost. Jaden's got 50 life points. If there's ever going to be... A protagonist. Oh my god, it's over, dude. A protagonist comeback. It's now. What does he draw? Avion. It's not enough. Do you say a dominant performance here? Wow, that was crazy. And what a semifinals matchup that is going to be. Yugi versus Yuma is next. Listen, if these two actually dueled, uh, I don't know. I think Yugi would win. It's tough. But Yuma's deck versus Yugi's deck. We are using some cards from Dark Side of Dimensions as well in here. But I have to imagine that Yuma has a very good chance to win this. Yuma has summoned Utopia. Nothing he can do with it right now. Yugi's using Pot of Greed. What does it do? Some Marshmallows. And again, Yugi's got to get to Gandora. No extra deck for him. This is going to be tough for little Yugi Moto. It just is. Especially without Plot Armor. It, it just is. Swords of Revealing Light is gone. Going into Utopia Ray. It's just so easy for Yuma to go into these Utopia monsters. Then he's going to use Monster Reborn and Special Summon another high-powered monster here. This is going to be a full-fledged assault. 2,300 attack. Wow, he actually beat Utopia Ray, and he's going to get Summon Skull into his hand. That is a monster that can do a lot of work without Utopia Ray on the field. Really good combo there by Yugi to out it. Yugi Moto's got a chance here. But Yuma's going to summon number six, Chronomaly Atlantis. It is a card that he had. Oh my god, he's got Gandora. He's got Gandora in the hand. Oh my god, he's got Gandora. This is what he's been waiting for. Oh my god. Yuma's trap card's going to prevent it. Oh my god, by 100 life points. This is crazy. What can Yuma do? He takes, he loses half of his life points. Yuma's got a chance here. Oh my god, I cannot believe that monster reborn. And he's going, going to go into number six, Chronomaly Atlantis. That is the craziest duel we've seen yet. And Yuma ends up getting the win over little Yugi Moto. But what an effort by Yugi Moto. Oh my god. So Yuma moves on to the semis. He's probably going to face Yusaku or Playmaker. I'm sure Yuma not looking forward to that. This has been crazy. Playmaker versus Yami Yugi coming up next to see who faces Yuma. I mean, Yugi summoned Gandora and I thought had enough. And then Yuma's trap lowered it just enough to get him to survive with 100. Dude, that was a crazy duel. But he leaves a board pretty much empty. He's got one set card. This is where Yusaku, as we've seen many times throughout Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains, can just punish another duelist. And he's got two cards in his hand that can be used as link material when used in the hand for code monsters. And Playmaker summons Decode Talker. Yami Yugi's like, what the hell is a link? Sign at Universe also is going to be the field spell here. It's going to boost the attack. Boom! And Yami Yugi's in trouble right off the bat. Again, without plot armor, I felt like Yami Yugi did not have much of a chance in this one. What can he do here? Change of... Change of oh, but he's got Sinet Conflict, which is going to stop Change of Heart. Oh, I mean, the counters here, man. You would only expect it. Protag versus Protag. Swords of Revealing Light, however, will freeze out Decode Talker. Oh, what's he going into here? Oh, what's he going into here? Oh, my God. Yeah, Yami Yugi's like, what is this crap? Access code talker to the face of Yami Yugi. Now again, with plot armor, that duel is not as one-sided, but Yusaku's good, man. It's going to be tough for anyone to stop him. It, it, it really, really is.
The semifinals are set. Yuya takes on Yusei. Yuma takes on Yusaku. It's pretty funny that it's literally the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth protagonists that made it. And all the early ones with their decks that are a little outdated are out. And Yuto is out as well. Yuya versus Yusei. Let's see who gets to the finals. Yuya versus Yusei. There are a lot of really, really good potential finals matchups. Yuya Yuma would be fun. Yusei Yusaku would be fun. Let's see who's getting to the finals. Yusei or Yuya. And he's going to go into, I think, an XZ summon. Yep, Dark Rebellion, XZ's Dragon. It's always the play for him. And why not? And he's going to do some damage here. He is going to do some damage to Yusei. 2,500. Yusei's in trouble. Yusei is in trouble right off the bat. What's he going to do? He looked so good against Judai. Ah, Speed Warrior. He's going to deliver 1,800, but he's in trouble. I don't know what that face down is. Yusei better have a plan. Yusei, you better have a plan, man. Otherwise, it's over. He better have a plan. No. He, uh... He didn't have a plan. Yuya beats Yusei. Um, definitely moves made that I don't think actually Yusei would make. Uh, like leaving Speed Warrior there. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> to be wrecked by Dark Rebellion. I thought that uh, face down was going to help him. Uh, it did not. And you know what? Yuya keeps on moving along. The master of entertainment dueling is in the finals, ready to face Yuma or Yusaku. All right, that first semifinals matchup was uh, bad. Let's hope this one's a little more invigorating. Oh, and we got the Cybers field. Basically a... Uh, a Home field advantage for Yusaku. I mean, give me a break. Yusaku versus Yuma. Yuma going up against it, especially seeing this field. Let's see what happens, man. Yusaku had to be one of the heavy favorites to win this tournament. I would argue Yuma should be one as well. But let's see. Going into Link Disciple. Parallel XZ is going to get um, special summoned here. Another Parallel XZ. It's going to Link Summon again, dude. I mean, the, the Link is just too good. Going into Trans Code talker code exporter and ram claudia or uh yeah ram claudia are gonna get uh their effects off thanks to it link disciple comes back access code turn one give me a break dude what do you do how do you stop this guy man how do you stop this guy it's it, access code is just too crazy it's just too crazy man i saw the home field advantage and i knew yuma was in trouble well, listen, uh, Yusaku gets the win uh, pretty pretty convincingly. And we've got our final set, ladies and gentlemen. Yuya Sakaki, the protagonist of Arc 5. Yusaku Fujiki, the protagonist of Reigns. It is not shocking to me at all that the protagonists at the end of their shows with the most current decks, Arc 5 and Reigns, are the protagonists here in the finals. Thought Yuma had a really good chance to maybe pull off the upset, as well as Yusei, considering Yusei had such a good combo against Jaden, but wasn't meant to be. Yuya Yusaku, the finals of the Protagonist Master Duel Tournament starts right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the finals between Yuya Sakaki, Yusaku Fujiki. And honestly, if Yuya wins, he defeated, think about it, Yuto, Yusei, and then he would defeat Yusaku here, theoretically. It would be one of the craziest runs you could have in this tournament. So let's see if Yuya is able to pull it off. Yusaku starting with Power Code Talker. Again, this Link Climb dude is just so insane. Like, Yusaku with Plot is great. With this deck against some of the older decks as well, it, it, it's just almost not fair. Um, Yusaku's dominated pretty much every single duel he's been in so far. Uh, made quick work of... The semifinals matchup against Yuma. He's trying to do the same against Yuya. Let's see what Yuya can do here. Not much. And, and that that's going to be game. That's going to be game for Yuya. We're going to have access code. Oh, Firewall XC Dragon. Yusaku winning with some flair now. And that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, Yusaku Fujiki is your winner. An absolutely incredible performance from the man himself. I'm sure as a man of many words, he would have a great victory speech. Probably something along the lines of, it's an honor to win this tournament. And then he'd leave for three months. Yusaku, congratulations. And for those of you who have been wondering who would win a tournament, 
if there was no plot armor and the AI was controlling their decks at an equal level, Yusaku's the winner. Pretty obvious, I think. Pretty easy to guess that. But Yuya getting to the finals was really cool. Let me know any other tournaments like this that you'd maybe want to see. I'd love to do one with the rivals and the girl characters and maybe like Duel Monsters era, GX era, 5Ds era. I think if we keep it within eras and don't like transcend kind of like this, I think it'll be probably more fair and unpredictable. But let me know down below. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you have an amazing day. Take care, guys.